Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how you can create cute wall decor inspired by Beast Honeycomb using cardboard. This DIY is very easy and fun to make and I also included a template for this tutorial that I have linked below. For this DIY you will need plain paper, a triangle ruler if you want to create the template yourself in case you can't print out my template, a cutter, pens, scissors, normal tape or photo tape and you will also need acrylic paint, glue, brushes, glitter and thick cardboard. If you are going to print out my template you can skip this part to the actual tutorial. But if you want to create a template yourself, draw one side of bees honeycomb or hexagon. Since every side has the same length, decide how big you want the shape to be in the end. I went with 8 cm for each side. All internal angles are 120 degrees. In order to create them, place the center of your triangle to one of the edges and then mark the 220 degrees. If you have that, you can go ahead and connect these two points. The second line should have the same length as well. And now you just basically need to repeat this step until you have six sides of the honeycomb that are equally long. Place the center of the triangle to the outer corner of the line and create a 220 degree angle. And then connect the two points. After that, cut out the template and we can go ahead and create the actual wall decor. For this step, place your cardboard onto a cutting mat and trace the shape of the template you just created or printed out. If you have that, cut out the hexagon with a cutter very carefully. Make sure the sides and edges are clean to make the shape as perfect as you can. Now you can use this cardboard template for the rest of the honeycombs you want to create. This way it's faster and easier to create equal shapes. Create as many hexagons as you wish. If you have enough, we can go ahead and decorate them with paint and glitter. I decided to use blue and greenish colors with gold since I really like this combination. But you can use any color you like. You can also mix up the shades of your color to make the designs look more interesting. To create glitter pieces, you just need to cover the cardboard with some glue and sprinkle glitter on top. Remove the excess glitter and let everything dry. To secure the glitter, you can also add another layer of glue on top. To create frames inside a hexagon, you can either cut the template into shape or use a triangle ruler. Then you can decorate them with acrylic paint or just glitter. Or if you like to mix it up, you can create a glitter frame around the painted honeycomb as I did here. It's really up to you how you want to decorate them, I just wanted to show you some examples and ideas. While everything is still drying, you can carefully go ahead and try out different arrangements by placing the shapes onto some paper on the floor or somewhere else you have space for that. If you are happy with the placement, you can take a picture for later in case you have to move everything and don't want to forget how you wanted it to look like. When everything is dry, we can start attaching them to the wall. If you use normal tape instead of photo tape, create a sticky loop by gluing the ends so the sticky side is outside and then add them to the cardboard. I made about 5 loops for each hexagon. The downside of using normal tape is that the honeycombs won't stick directly to the wall so there will be some space between the wall and the cardboard. But I think it still looks good. And if you have difficulties attaching the honeycombs to the wall because they come off, make sure the shape is 100% flat. If not, you might need to lay it down under heavy books or move them into shape. Otherwise, the cardboard can end up being too wavy. And you can also try a strong double-sided photo tape instead of normal tape. If you are happy with the arrangement on the wall, you are done. I hope you enjoyed this idea and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching everyone and see you soon.